Hey gang, it's Travis. So I'm gonna share a little bit about our urban boondocking. Uh, sometimes we get to park in cities, sometimes we park at boat ramps. Um, this one is in the city, I think. It's next to the airport, kind of sandwiched between the airport and a mine. But there is nothing down this cul-de-sac but us. We're an easy quarter mile from the intersection. And there is a logging business down there, but I think they all just went home for the day. And uh, so how do we pick a spot when we're boondocking uh, like this? So we look at Google Earth. We look for dead-end roads, cul-de-sacs that never had anything built. This is obviously an older road with nothing down it. There's no sign prohibiting anything, no, no trespassing. And an important clue to us is all these marks. So the burnouts from the kids. There's not a lot, it doesn't look like they're here every day, but it does tell us that this is not um, a watched or patrolled area. Uh, it's a clue, right? Um, it is clean to maintain its mode. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can stay the night here. So I'll include my Google Earth video of how we looked for the spot. But you know, in this area, there's not a lot on Harvest Host, there's nothing on iOverlander, so we just kind of went shopping. I did stop by the VFW, they're closed. That's another option for me because I'm a veteran. If you're not a member of any of these different fraternal organizations, Eagles, Elks, Moose, um, American Legion or VFW, those are all good ways to find spots to boondock or parks to be in uh, through just networking with locals. And um, sometimes my VFWs will let me just stay. They'll say, yeah, stay here overnight, have a drink, enjoy a sandwich, uh, hang out with us. And I've known other fraternal organizations that have done similar things with my friends that are members of them. But anyways, tonight we're staying here at the end of this dead end and uh, we'll let you know how it goes in the morning. And uh, if we do get the knock, we'll also show how we gracefully work through that. So far, so good. So we use Google Earth a lot to help find spots to boondock. We pulled into Roger City, and parked next to the park, saw no camping signs at the boat ramp, so we went scrolling around, and that's when we happened on this dead-end road out by the airport. Uh, we zoomed in. You can see some tire tracks, a little bit of marks from the kids out there, but when you scroll down the road, there's no gates no signs, nothing like that. And when you get to the end, seeing no obstacles, go ahead and switch over to your street view and look for some gates or something like that. But no signs, no gates, no surprises. Just looks like a quiet, undeveloped dead end road. So we went ahead and drove down there to check it out. Part of our aerial survey of looking for our boondocking spot, we saw this cool uh, Roger City rocks and arrow on the aerial map. And so now we took a little hike back to it. <gasps> I think we just found it. There's no telling who put it here. Could have been Bigfoot marking his territory or somebody from the airport marking the airport. We just don't know. But we do know we're at the tip of the arrow, right? Big arrow tip there. And uh, arrow there. And those over there are the letters say Roger City. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of just hard to show you what it looks like from here, so I'll go to the other map. Just one of those cool things you find when you explore small towns. Uh, this giant Roger City arrow with the north marked on it. Uh, kind of cool. Don't see that very often. And we got to uh, take a little walk away from the bus and check it out. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning here in Rogers uh, City. And we've got the bus warming up. We boondocked all night here. Out at the end of this cul-de-sac. No problems. We had... Uh, Two vehicles drive by in the night. Had uh, both of them early in the evening. I'm assuming maybe employees of the wood company down the road were curious, but uh, no other problems. 
I think the Coast Guard was using their helicopters a lot last night to touch and go at the airport. But they stopped that about midnight too. So got our good night's sleep, woke up, had our coffee, breakfast, watched the news. And uh, so now it's nine o'clock and this little gray truck, which you can see behind me on the road, way back there, he's uh, pulled in, did a slow circle and has stopped down the road. So you have to ask yourself when you're boondocking, what is that guy doing? Is he on the phone with law enforcement? Could be, although we haven't done anything wrong. There's no signs, no nothing. Um, if there's a no camping ordinance, um, there was nothing posted. So there may be something. And, and if law enforcement came by and said, hey, you can't stay here overnight, we would gladly leave. There's no argument. Um, could he be on the phone with the property owner? He could be calling a property owner and say, hey man, someone's parked right outside your property. Uh, Maybe you should come down and investigate this, make sure you're not doing something bad, which is fine also. Um, and if so, if some property owner came down and said, hey, what are you doing here? We'd tell them. Uh, generally, we make friends, and uh, that would be that. And then uh, he could be down there sitting on his cell phone looking up for social media because it's plastered all over the side of the bus. We're not hard to reach. So... It could be looking through our pictures and videos and going, damn, that's cool. Man, I want to be like them. I wonder if I could go back and meet them. Um, that would be really cool, too, because uh, we love meeting people. And we love sharing what we're doing and how we're doing it. So that's the end of the night of boondocking. The bus you can hear in the background is warming up. We're going to go into Roger City and park probably at the marina. Check out the city park on our work breaks. And maybe on our lunch break, go get a haircut because uh, I'm looking a little shaggy and I think my wife wants a haircut too. So until next time, this is Travis and Michelle with the Big Blue Holler and our poor bent Jeeps. And we're signing off in Rogers City, Michigan.